Hello, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Franchise Discovery Day. So, what the heck is Franchise Discovery Day? And why is it even called that? Well, I don't know why it's called. Well, it's, it's for you to discover uh, what goes on at Franchise Headquarters, etc. But let me, let me uh, get into this. Uh, franchise Discovery Day is really important for both the franchisor, the folks at Franchise Headquarters, wherever that may be located, and for you. Um, it's important for the franchisor because it's a great way for them to meet you face-to-face, -face, in person, and see kind of what you're all about, see if you're for real, and, and, and see if they feel that you can be a successful franchisee. Uh, it's important for you so you can see if the franchisor is like the real deal. I mean, they have headquarters. Do they have a staff? Do they have offices? Do they have infrastructure, technology, a bunch of IT stuff? Um, and, and, and it's a way for you to discover if the, ooh, that discover word. It's a way for you to discover if the franchisor is all that they say they are. Um, everything from the first time you walk into headquarters, does it, does it feel right? Does it feel like a legit operation? Um, there's a lot of things for you to look for. But before you do that, you need to know this. You are invited to a franchise discovery day. You can't really invite yourself. You are invited. I mean, you can ask during, you know, the third or fourth phone call with your franchise sales rep if, you know, if you have a discovery day and if I could go. But in general, you are going to be invited. If you are invited for a franchise discovery day to a franchise discovery day, um, in the franchisor's eyes, you probably have what it takes to be a franchisee. And it is their time to sell you on why you should invest your money, the upfront franchise fee and all the other costs, and then pay them monthly royalties. Um, why you should do it. So, yes, it is a sales day. Um, I know for a fact that when, uh, let's say you're working with a franchise broker, um, but you're definitely working with a franchise salesperson headquarters. When either of those people um, uh, know that you're going to Discovery Day, it's very good news for them. Why? Because in their mind, they are picturing the check that they're going to get. Um, it's just a fact. Uh, a franchise Discovery Day is like a really good thing. That's kind of the goal of the franchise, the franchisor, and the franchise salesperson, franchise broker. They want you. They, they want to get you to Discovery Day because they figure in their minds, if you're going to Discovery Day, if you're going to invest money on an, uh, on an airplane, uh, airline tickets, uh, and take a couple days, you're pretty serious, and that means that you may even buy the franchise. So the franchisor is going to get their initial franchise fee of thirty-five, forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars. The franchise salesperson is going to get their commission, and the franchise broker, if you're working one with one franchise broker, franchise consultant, is going to get their commission also, which is twenty thousand dollars or more. So they're pretty excited. But the goal for any franchise company is to, in during the sales process, is to get you to franchise discovery day. That is like the culmination of everything except you signing the agreement. So what should you expect at Franchise Discovery Day? You should expect a very friendly staff, um, a very positive vibe. You should also expect to learn a lot of stuff. And, and here's what I want you to do, and I want you to make sure you do this. I want you to insist on meeting with the CEO one-on-one. -on -one. If possible. Now, the CEO is going to be involved, maybe in a group session, but if you could arrange it, boy, I'd love for you to talk to the CEO face to face and really get a feel for, for his or her kind of outlook on, on the franchise opportunity, on franchising in general. You kind of get to know the person, you know, look the person in the eye. So I really recommend that. Now, franchise salespeople may not like that approach, but but I do. And that's what matters because I work for you when you're my client. And I want, even if you're not my client, I want any person that is buying a franchise to get the most out of Franchise Discovery Day. All right. So try to meet with the CEO. Other things to look for, you know, what is the staff like? If you're going to meet with the marketing department, which is pretty normal, what are they like? Do you feel like they know what they're doing? 
or are they a bunch of 22 year olds that are like new at this and, and are kind of learning on the go? Now, nothing wrong with a 22 year old that's in marketing, but you know, you want them to have experience or at least have some leadership. You know, who is the franchise marketing director? That's who you want to talk to. You want to meet the people in the IT department. How good are they? How tech savvy are they? Uh, you want to learn about some of the technology tools that you're going to be using. You also want to get a feel for, you know, how important are franchisees in, in the franchisor's mind? You know, do they want you to be profitable? Are they talking about your profit during the discovery day? Kind of important. All right. So those are just some of the things that I want you to look for in a franchise discovery day. Finally, do not attend a franchise discovery day if you're just curious about what they're like at headquarters. The only time that you should attend a franchise discovery day is if you have learned most of what you can about the franchise work. And if possible, you've talked to at least a dozen, maybe 15 franchisees. That way you go in armed with even better questions to ask because the franchisees that are in business already are telling you what they're experiencing, what they're having problems with. And you can ask these questions at Franchise Discovery Day. It's usually one day, a full day in length. You get there the night before. Some franchisors will even compensate you for travel expenses if you say yes and become a franchisee in the next week or two after that. So that's what a Franchise Discovery Day is. I hope I helped you. And remember, do not fly to headquarters unless you are pretty much ready to say yes if all things feel right and, and all the things you see at headquarters make sense to you. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. Below this video, in a perfect world, there should be a link to a pretty detailed article um, about Franchise Discovery Day. You'll like it a lot. Thanks for watching this video.